How's it going, everybody? It's Young here, and welcome to a Metal Gear Solid 5 news update. The following information comes from Amazon UK. Not too long ago, Reddit user The Motion spotted this interesting Amazon UK listing of something called Metal Gear Solid 5 Definitive X, and nobody knows what this is. There's little to no information here except for what I'm assuming to be a placeholder December 31st, 2016 release date, which perhaps indicates that this might be releasing sometime this year, but not much else to go on. To make matters more interesting, if you go to the link now, you will find that the listing has been taken down, probably because it went live earlier than it was supposed to. So what the hell is this Definitive X? I think the safest assumption to make is that it's some kind of Game of the Year or Definitive Edition of Metal Gear Solid 5. Now, I'm hearing a lot of people speculating that this Definitive Edition might feature some of Phantom Pain's missing content, like the alleged Chapter 3 or Mission 51, but I wouldn't count on that if I were you. If anything, this Definitive Edition will most likely take all the Metal Gear Solid 5 content that was released separately and compile it all in one package. So we'll probably get Ground Zeroes, Phantom Pain, Metal Gear Online, and all of the updates, DLCs, customization options, and additional content that has been added since the game's launch. So, if you haven't played Metal Gear Solid 5 yet, but have wanted to, this might be the perfect opportunity to get your hand on the game, assuming that this Definitive X thing is real. But if you've already played the game extensively like I have, there's probably nothing here that will warrant another 60 bucks or whatever they're charging for this. Trust me, I want Mission 51 or additional story content just as much as you do, but with Kojima gone, I think that ship has sailed. You know, the least they could do is add some kind of new gameplay feature like, I don't know, single player co-op or something. I love support buddies, but I also feel like Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain's open world structure have such awesome potential for optional co-op gameplay, but even then, I don't know if that would be worth rebuying the game. Anyway, just wallowing in my own fantasy, let us know in the comments below your thoughts and theories on what you think Metal Gear Solid 5 Definitive X is. And to be further updated on Metal Gear news, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.